Unraveling, I've had a long day, a guide to English expressions. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we aim to make English learning fun and easy for you. Today, we're diving into a commonly used expression in English, I've had a long day. This phrase is packed with meaning and emotion, and understanding it can help you communicate more effectively in English. Let's explore what this expression means, when to use it, and how to respond to it. When someone says, I've had a long day, they're not just talking about the hours. This phrase is used to express that they've experienced a day full of activities, challenges, or stress, making them feel tired or overwhelmed. It's important to note that the emphasis is on the quality of the day rather than the quantity of hours. This expression is a way to convey a sense of exhaustion or the need for rest without going into specific details about what made the day long or tiring. You might use, I've had a long day, in various contexts. After a busy day at work or school, following a day filled with unexpected challenges, when feeling emotionally or physically drained, as a way to explain why you might not be up for socializing or additional activities. It's a versatile phrase that can help you express your current state of mind and set expectations for your interactions with others. Responding to someone who's had a long day requires empathy and understanding. Here are a few supportive responses. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want to talk about it? This shows that you care and are willing to listen. Why don't you take a break and relax for a bit? Offering a solution can be helpful. Let's do something to take your mind off things. Suggesting a distracting activity might be appreciated. Take it easy tonight. Tomorrow is a new day. Sometimes, a reminder that there's a fresh start available can be comforting. While, I've had a long day, is a common phrase in English, its reception can vary depending on cultural contexts. In some cultures, expressing personal difficulties or fatigue might be seen as a sign of weakness, while in others, it's a normal part of empathetic communication. When using this expression, consider the cultural background of your audience or the person you're speaking to, to ensure your message is received as intended. We hope this video helps you understand and use the expression, I've had a long day, more confidently in your English conversations. Remember, language is not just about words but also about the emotions and experiences they convey. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more English learning content. Here's to fewer long days and more meaningful conversations in English. See you in the next video.